Thanks. I'm Peter Hamburg from the Garvin Institute, and today I would like to talk to you a bit about writing analysis reports in R. If you do lots of data analysis in R, you're probably familiar with NITA and R Markdown that allow you to quite nicely combine your R code with the description of what you're doing. That all sort of works fairly well to document what you're doing, but it produces one long document with all your, of your analysis from sort of start to finish, which is not necessarily very well suited to communicate your results to your collaborators. So what I really wanted to do is have a system that allows me to document what I'm doing so it's reasonably reproducible, but also communicate results without having to maintain two different documents or anything like that. So for that purpose, I developed ReportMD, which is supposed to do just that, basically. So instead of producing one monolithic document, it produces multiple HTML documents that are all interconnected and allows you to have one top-level document that you can use to present results in a sort of accessible way, if you like, and can draw on DR objects you generated from different stages of your analysis in whichever order you need to tell your story. All the dependencies between your R Markdown documents are managed uh, appropriately so that if you change your code in one stage of your analysis, other the documents, other output documents get updated accordingly and allows you to uh, easily link from one document to the others. In addition, there are a number of convenience features that mostly at the moment relate to creating or you know, integrating figures and tables into your document a bit more closely. The main one here is automatic numbering and referencing of figures. So you know, your figures get automatically labeled as like figure one, two, or three, and so on, as you might be used to from LaTeX if you use that. Um, and you can then easily refer to them within the same document as well as across documents. And uh, importantly, it also maintains links to dependencies. So your, uh, all the details of your analysis that may not be available at your top level document that you use to present results are still there and easily accessible if you want them. Um, so let me just say that uh, all of this is on GitHub, where you, if you scan that QR code, uh, it will take you right there. And you can easily install that in R as well. And well, it is in a fairly early stage of development, while well, you know, everything I think is working, the basics. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, room for some more features or so any feedback or contributions are very welcome. Thank you. <laughs>